Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am your host this afternoon. I am Dietmar Ostermann, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Merlot is on the agenda again for this episode. And not only Merlot, but Merlot from the most famous and arguably the best producer of Merlot wine in all of America, certainly in Napa Valley, Duck Horn. The Duck Horn 2014 Three Palms Vineyard was the wine of the year in Wine Spectator. And I have selected for you three Duck Horn portfolio wines. The regular 2016 Dacon Napa Valley Cabernet, Three Palms Vineyard from the legendary original Dacon Vineyard, so called the best Merlot producing vineyard in America. And I also have the secondary brand of Dacon, the decoy, that also produces an excellent Merlot. So those are the three Merlots. Duck Horn, as some of you know, just recently IPO'd and flushed in several hundreds of millions of dollars for founder and owner Dan and Margaret Duck Horn. The winemaker of Duck Horn in 2014 was uh, promoted, Renee Ari. She had been with the company for a very long time. And she is arguably one of the best female winemakers in the world. They had a modest beginning in 1978 after the winery was founded in 76. They produced in 78 their first 800 cases of Merlot and 800 cases of Cabernet. I think now across their portfolio of several brands, there are over 200,000 cases of wine. The portfolio includes Paradux, Golden Eye, Migration, which produces Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, Canvas Back, which is in Washington State. And here on this sign, you see a lot of the Dacon brands and vineyards. So the main wine, obviously, is a Dacon. The Three Palms vineyard is the high end. Merlot. Then you have the decoy, which is the lower end wine. You have the canvas back red mountain wine from Washington State that they make here, which is a mid level priced one. But then there's several others Calera, uh, and of course the regular Duck Horn. Here's a little clip from when we recently early in spring visited Duck Horn Vineyards. We are here at the Duck Horn Vineyard, one of the most famous properties in Napa Valley. They are the ones who brought Merlot on the map. Their Merlot is the best in the business in Napa Valley. And their Three Palms Vineyard is the one that won recently the wine, best wine of the world in Wine Spectator. It's one of the most beautiful vineyards in Napa Valley. That is State House that was uh, built in 1999 and finished in 2001. It's arguably one of the best wine tasting experiences. And the terrace there is so beautiful. The gardens are so beautiful that it is definitely deserving of a visit if you hit Napa Valley. This is the estate house with the beautiful balcony and terrace where all the tastings are taking place. Or down here in summer, some of those tasting tables nestled into some of the corners of the yard. I have my regular Italian equipment at hands, takes out these corks easily. But somehow, 
my friend and partner, the cork owl, disappeared. So I'm going to have to wait feeding him. It's a beautiful looking color. Ruby red. Not see-through. A nice color. Beautiful lines in the glass. 14.5% alcohol. Good looking. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Dark cherry aromas, black plum, a little bit of uh, raspberry, a little bit of black or blackberry, some spice, beautiful multi-layered aromas. Let's give it a whirl. On the palate, a juicy wine, the black plum comes through but also blackberry, more of the black cherry, maybe even some rhubarb, a hint of licorice, a strong flavor profile, a complex wine. The finish is long and lingering, fruity. There's hints of vanilla in the finish, a little bit of oak taste, I oftentimes refer to the as the best Merlot in America. So this one receives a 4.5. Legendary three pounds vineyard. Comes out right away. Let's get glass number two. I don't want to lose a drop of these beautiful Merlots. Tonight with a steak dinner, we will pair those. By the way, most Merlot planted in the world in France, obviously in the Bordeaux region, right hand side, right bank in uh, Bordeaux is mostly Merlot, left bank mostly Cabernet. But America is arguably head to head with Italy in the number two producing spot of Merlots. It's the same beautiful ruby red color, solid thick lines in the glass, also 14.5% alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. These aromas are a tick less pronounced. Black plum. Black cherry, I can uh, smell a little bit of um, the oak. This uh, Merlot obviously has been oaked. A little bit of vanilla from the oak process, secondary uh, notes. Definitely the black cherry is dominating, but there's also some black or red currant in here. Nice oak, vanilla, color very similar, aromas very similar. Let's give it a whirl! So balanced, full body, medium acidity, medium tannins, maybe even low tannins, high alcohol, well-rounded, nice balance. The fruits are blackberry, black plum, red cherry, red dark, black cherry. Now, the regular Merlot from Dacom on Vivino 4.3. The 2016 was a Wine Spectator, 90 points. The uh, Three Palms Vineyard, 4.4 on Vivino and uh, 93 points at Wine Spectator. Price difference substantial, $56 for the regular and an incredible $110 for the Three Palms Vineyard. But I looked it up at Vivino earlier today and you can actually get the 2016 right now on Vivino for $85. Now the decoy. The decoy is a secondary label from 
Dacron, but it now has a complete portfolio as well. So they're making their famous red table wine, but also a Cabernet and also a Merlot and also a Zinfandel. And this one is $19.41, 4 point rated on Bimino. Let's check it out whether the additional money for the Dacon Merlot is really required. Is there a significant difference? Decor. The color is different. I can detect this right away. It's uh, a little bit more see through than the Duck Pond. Still, beautiful ruby red color with a little bit of a beautiful shine to it. The lines are thinner in the glass, elegant. 13.9% alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Not as pronounced. Red currant. Some red cherry. Generally speaking, less dark fruit aromas, more red fruit aromas. A little bit of uh, wood in the nose as well. Must have seen some oak. Let's give it a whirl. Very fruity, nicely balanced, a little bit high on acidity, much lighter in body, but beautiful balance between the acidity, the alcohol, and uh, the fruitiness. Very pleased with this wine as well. Not as multi layered in some of the complex characters that the duck on had, but very, very strong. I give this wine a 4.2. And for $19, ladies and gentlemen, it is a buy recommendation. All three of these wines are buy recommendation. And the decoy, a very, very respectable Merlot for legendary $19.41. Here you have it. Merlot buy recommendation from the king of the Merlots in Napa Valley, the Duckhorn Vineyards. See you next Sunday.